by the Kenya Vision Workers Union came at a time the national carrier is turning around recently recording a profit for the first time in over 10 years. That industrial action that led to the flight's delays and cancellations came at a cost, as Noah Kipkemboi reports. Once the Kenya Aviation Workers Union commenced their industrial action at midnight at JKIA, flight cancellations commenced as early as 5 a.m., where the KQ flight from Zanzibar was cancelled, followed by other KQ flights from Seychelles, Mombasa, and Eldoret. Inbound flights by Air Arabia and Emirates also cancelled their journey to Nairobi, with local carrier Jumbo Jet delaying flights from local destinations such as Ukunda and Eldoret. As the day progressed, KQ's evening flights from Joburg and Maputo were cancelled with Air India's 6.35 p.m. flight and Emirates' 8 p.m. flight into Nairobi also getting cancelled. Other cancellations included inbounds from Paris by Air France, from London by British Airways and from Doha by Qatar Airways, with Saudi cancelling the flight from Jeddah and KQ from Abidjan and Addis Ababa. For departures, Kenya Airways cancelled its 12 a.m. flight to Zanzibar, 6.30 a.m. flight to Mombasa, and its 7.20 a.m. flight to Ndola, Zambia. The strike saw delayed departures with 1.45 a.m. KQ flight leaving at 3.59 a.m. Ethiopian Airlines, which was to leave at 5 a.m., left at 11.53 a.m. with Jumbo Jet 6.30 a.m. flight, departing nine hours later at 3.49 p.m. According to Kenya Airways, during flight delay or cancellation, it provides essential service such as accommodation, meals, ground transportation, as situation requires, rebook you to next available Kenya Airways flight or an alternative airline to your destination shown on the ticket within reasonable time without additional charge. If the fare and charges for the revised routing are lower than what you have paid, it shall refund the difference. This has been a contribution to high operational cost for the carrier. Now, keep going, KTN. Now, still on the controversy.